Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Glenn Fajoda. And we just got this Pelican U160 book bag from the pelicanshop.com. And I already have it outfitted for tomorrow's trip. It's a five mile hike up and a five mile hike down. So that's with some stops in between since I am taking photo and video clips. Um, that should be about most of the day, an eight hour trip. So let's take a look and see how I packed it for tomorrow. I like this bag because um, it has, it's very durable, has lots of protection on the outside, some hard cover. This one's strictly uh, hard padded. All right, let's take a look on the top. Got a poncho, they are calling for rain. And inside, um, an extra shirt, my water bottle, some an extra pants, and then I have, there's space here for a tablet. I'm not gonna bring any tablets, so I'll probably put like my hiking map up there. Let's put that inside. Moving to the bottom compartment, this is where all the camera gear is stored, so it is good that this does have a hard case on it. Pelican lock. Um, when I get back to the car after my trip, I'm gonna go and change. So this would be sitting in the car, so just a little extra, extra protection. Inside, one feature I do like about this bag, it's bright and yellow, so just in case, you know, something I leave behind, I can e easily see it there. It'll kind of be highlighted. Uh, 5D Mark III fits easily here. Canon 60D, 24 to 105, and then enough for the wide angle, a Canon 24. And if you can see this in the video, the inside of this has little uh, bumps that protrude out, which helps a lot to keep everything kind of snug instead of kind of like putting extra things to keep it snug. On the hard flat, it has three of these mesh pockets in here. Uh, my road mic, just in case I'm recording the audio, some cleaning wipes. The top. Extra battery memory cards, and since both of the cameras take the LPE6, I got one extra one. But that should be plenty for tomorrow. And just in case I do need some juice for my phone, I got this battery pack here. Zip that up. Side pocket. I have my uh, Pelican 27 40 headlamp. Just in case it does get dark, I got this to kind of like lead the way. And then just a, a multi-tool. Just put that here. I will get hungry on the way, so I got a protein bar and in here I'm probably gonna put um, some five hour energy drink shots in here just to keep me energized throughout the trip. On this side, you can see I have the, uh, the Manfro, the 290 travel tripod compacted with these straps that hide on that hide underneath if I'm not using it and un underneath that I have two extra pouches that I mean I can easily stuff and fill up on the back if you can see from the side see how it's s curved this helps a lot since most backs aren't straight so this will help a lot during that full day hike on the back um, I already kind of put one of those mountain climbing uh, carabiners on and a pouch just in case I step in wet, wet puddles. I'm gonna put my socks in here while it dries on the way. So yeah, let's put it on, let's see how this looks like. I'm about 5'8", about 150 pounds and this bag, everything loaded probably weighs about a good 30 pounds but on my bag feels pretty light. And this will help a lot just so it can kind of, it can kind of take the pressure off the shoulders. This side view, in the back, I mean, it feels pretty light. So yeah, so we'll see how this trip goes and how this bag will work out for, you, for me tomorrow. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.